My name is Jim Johnson. I'm a senior mechanical engineer here at the National Wind Technology Center. Um, we're on row one, which is the, the first row um, in a line of, of rows that uh, we use to do research on different wind turbines. This first row has three uh, medium-sized machines on it, medium to small. The first machine here on, on our left is uh, the AOC 1550. It's a three-bladed, stall-regulated, fixed-pitched machine that's a relatively old design, 20, 25 years old, but is very good in, in cold weather environments and consequently is installed in places like Kotzebue in Wales, Alaska. It's a 50 kilowatt nameplated rated machine, so it's a relatively small to medium sized machine. But it's simple and it works very well at, without a lot of maintenance. The next machine in the, in the line is a Northern Power Systems Northwind 100 machine. What it has going for it is that uh, when it was first uh, designed and built, it actually won a top three R&D 100 award, I believe that was in year 2000, for its innovative design. It too is designed for cold weather environments and it doesn't have a gearbox, it's a direct drive machine, so it's just a generator attached to the blades. It's variable speed, stall regulated again, designed for cold weather environments, but it's 100 kilowatts in nameplate rated capacity. It's designed to work in off-grid locations, that is places where there's no real grid. There could be a, a small mini grid, but not necessarily a utility grid. And it's designed, as I said earlier, for cold weather environments. So consequently, it's installed in places as, as well, like Kotzebue or Wales, Alaska, or at the pole. Um, NASA is also interested in it for the space program. At some point, they think they may be able to take something like this to Mars uh, because they need to pump water, use it to make hydrogen, so on, for manned space flight missions to Mars. This particular generator has been redesigned to use permanent magnets rather than being a wound stator and rotor and consequently a better design with a, the a built-in controller for grid connection. The, the very first version of that was a, an off-grid version and Northern Power Systems is building several other designs besides this one, a, a one and a half megawatt design and a, a much larger 2.6 megawatt design, all direct drive. Uh, what we're doing here is field testing of this particular design because it's not been field tested up until uh, right right now. And so we're, uh, we've got an, an inflow anemometer set. I don't know if you can see it uh, just upwind of the machine or not, but uh, that inflow set is used to measure the wind that comes out of El Dorado Canyon before it actually gets to the rotor. And then we'll do uh, atmospheric testing of the rotor itself, knowing what the wind characteristics are as the the wind blows through the rotor. The next machine we have is a, a relatively older design, but it's been around for about 30 years. It's called a Berge Excel. It's a 10 kilowatt size machine. It's a three bladed upwind with a tail for furling to control power. Um, but it's a fairly robust design that's been around for quite a while, but it, and it works very, very well. Berge's market has been mostly overseas, but is now seeing some sales in the United States with the, the buy-down products that are available in California and other states. We've done quite a lot of work with Berge here at the site using uh, ice-making machines and other uh, off-grid applications for third-world countries. Mm -hmm.